Okay. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the April 26th, 2021 Fitchburg Police and Fire Commission meeting. For our meeting, we have a very sh short meeting today. I'd like to call the meeting to order, and we have four members present, so we have a quorum. Um, the second item on our agenda is public appearances. Are there any public appearances? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, the item for which we are meeting today, the authorization to begin a second year fire science intern recruitment. Chief? Yeah, so we recently had a, uh, a resignation of uh, one of our intern staff. Uh, that intern was finishing up uh, his first year as a, as a fire service intern. Um, we now have a vacancy moving into that intern's second year. So what that means is we have uh, somebody who has hopefully been through half of their associate level education and uh, somebody who already has their fire certifications to the, uh, to the point where we can use, utilize them as staffing sooner than later. Uh, some things still have to be uh, ad addressed and that's uh, minimum skills specifically as it pertains to operations uh, specific to the Fitchburg Fire Department. Um, so one of the reasons why it's important for us to address this and I, why I appreciate getting on a, a special agenda is the fact that we're trying to get um, not only the second year intern, but our first year interns and the paid on call personnel through minimum skills at the same time. Uh, so it's a way of addressing training uh, a little bit more efficiently and hopefully saving some time in the way of staff hours. Okay, and then um, the chief provided a timeline. Uh, did it? Uh, I'll, sh I'll share my screen. Okay, yeah, April 21st. Yeah, uh, Scott, I need uh, permission, please. It says host disabled. All right, so um, let me think about this here. Well, you, you, you can walk, we can follow along if you just go on the, okay. the dates. So so. For, for anybody in, uh, in the viewing public that wants to see uh, a copy of the, the timeline, um, I'd be would ha I would be happy to share that. All they have to do is get in contact with my office at the it, fire department. It, and I can share it's that. on the agenda packet as well. So it's in the it's agenda, a, right, so okay. on, on the city's website. Okay. So uh, what we're looking at doing is uh, presenting the need to the PFC that's obviously happening uh, tonight. Uh, I have that on there for the 27th because initially we weren't sure whether it was gonna be today or tomorrow. Uh, HR has already identified what needs to happen for posting those vacancies and that will be done uh, the following day, either tomorrow or on Wednesday. Um, we're looking at keeping those applications open for about two weeks. The review of applications should happen the following day. We're not expecting a lot of, uh, of, of uh, applications just based on the fact that we know that many people that are in the second year of their associate program may already be affiliated with uh, um, a fire department. So uh, we're hoping to get a couple, uh, but uh, the, the idea is we're uh, not expecting more than five. Are, are we track, have we tracked what we've gotten in previous years? Uh, so we, we don't run the second year firefighter intern all that often. I think we've done this twice since I've been here. And typically we get about two to three people that are interested. Sometimes we only get one. Okay. Okay, so continue. We, we post it through the same methods that we post uh, our, our, uh, our uh, openings. Uh, and then we also try to recruit directly through Madison College. And is the two week period uh, standard for this? I know you haven't done that many of these, but is that a typical time frame? I, I'm trying to keep it consistent with, uh, with other applications that we have had open and typically about two weeks is what we do. For a, a, for a career um, opening where we might be going nationwide for our uh, applicant pool, we might keep it open a little bit longer but these students have to be affiliated with Madison College and most of them are in the area. So it's a little bit easier to, to get them to participate in the application process based on their uh, geography. 
Okay. Besides Madison College, what other uh, fire intern programs are relatively close? There are none relatively close. And in order to be affiliated with the Fitchburg internship program, they have to be Madison College students uh, associated with the uh, fire service program. Okay. But, uh, but other, uh, let's say Milwaukee or Waukesha, where do their interns come from? So there's not a lot of intern programs throughout the state. There are some that don't necessarily take on the same, uh, the, the same appearance as ours. We utilize our interns for staffing after they've qualified uh, with their certifications and their minimum skills. Uh, I know that in uh, Milwaukee, when I was there, we would have interns, but they would be there primarily as ride-alongs. They wouldn't participate in actual firefighting. I know Fox Valley has interns and there's a variety of different functions that they fill, but I do know that they're limited on, limited on their ability to fight fire. The benefit behind our program is when our interns are done with a two year, possibly three year internship, they are fairly confident in their skills and ability based on the fact that they've not only staffed the position, they've responded to incidents and they have their formal education. Okay. Uh, commissioners have any questions on the uh, timeline or the process? How, how, how do you, um, you know, the very first box, you know, present staff and post applications, how are you, is this all advertised? We uh, go through HR. HR has a number of different uh, ways of actually advertising this, not only through our, our city website and through our social media platforms, but they also specifically uh, advertise in um, the, the local papers and, uh, and some um, specific papers that target uh, populations throughout the Madison area. Does Met, Met, do we advertise at Madison College then with the program? Yes, and okay. we actively recruit out of Madison College. Okay. Uh, I think as far as the interviewing the candidates, you know, we've typically um, had a citizen member or, or two. Um, and what are your plans for the interviews? So what we've done, and that's part of the, uh, the hiring policy that, uh, that was presented at the, uh, at the last uh, council meeting, or excuse me, the uh, commission meeting. What we do with our interview panel we try to make sure that, well, we, we, uh, we work through HR first off. We try to make sure that it's balanced in the way of not only in department uh, and, and, and interdepartmental members, but also community members. We try to address the, uh, the diversity of our community. Uh, so based on that, we typically try to have uh, the panel be made up of two to three members of the fire department and one to two members of non-departmental community members. So. We could have a panel of anywhere from three to five people, depending on how many of those are internal and external. We also reach out to uh, a number of different resources that we have within the city to identify uh, certain uh, groups that might be able to address uh, the, the diverse nature of our community. Maybe um, something particularly now with, with Sheena and the commission, she might have some insights you know, on, on this uh, as well. Um. So the other, the, the research that was, that was done in reference to, to um, our, our recruitment philosophy and trying to get out and make sure that we have a department that represents the community that we serve, uh, found that uh, there's, there's a number of different things that we can do to include uh, getting out into the community and shaking some hands in advance and identifying those that may have interest in the future. So we're not catching those, uh, those folks last minute. We're actually trying to do what we can to, uh, to establish a partnership in advance. Okay, I any other questions? Sheena had one. Sheena? Hi, Steve. My understanding, the second year, what you're looking to um, fulfill right now is for somebody who's already qualified, right? We can't just go uh, recruiting um, anybody from the community right now, right? This is somebody with experience and education already has a year or so many credits under their belt for, for this program and this position, right? 
right? Just about all of our positions actually have some degree of qualification. Um, we do open it up for our first year interns, regardless of whether they have certifications or not. But there's uh, several high school programs in the area that actually reach out in advance of them uh, graduating high school. So some of them actually come into our program with a firefighter one, firefighter two, and maybe even EMR or EMT. So uh, we've been fairly fortunate in this area to still recruit for talent um, in, uh, in the Dane County area. What we do for those that don't have any, uh, any uh, training in the fire service, we will sponsor them through a uh, firefighter one, firefighter two, and it gets their foot in the door. And then after they do that, they can apply for our paid on call, paid on premise program. That gets them additional um, experience. So the idea is uh, we try not to tell people no, we try to uh, give them uh, a, a method or a means of actually identifying the, the training that is available. And it, it, it helps them to, uh, to determine what the, uh, what the, what the overall investment is as, as far as time. So. And I think, correct me if I'm, if I'm wrong, um, but I think the long-term goal of this is retention, right? You wanna keep these interns and keep them on the department, ideally, if they're a good fit. Um, what percentage of your interns have actually fulfilled that full-time career position? That's uh, we have you a, can look at that and send me that later. I don't need yeah, to. That, no, that's fine. We have about a 95% placement rating in the fire service. In the so, fire service. What about Fitchburg? Uh, we, well, we have, uh, you know, I'd love to get more people on the, on the city of Fitchburg as far as career firefighters go. We have uh, 12 uh, firefighters that work shift that are career, uh, and then two that work uh, 40 hours a week. That's uh, the deputy chief and me. Um, so we actually have probably about, I would say anywhere from 30 to 50% of our members had an affiliation with our paid on call program, or excuse me, our, our intern program. Our paid on call program uh, might be a little bit more because they have a tendency of going from intern to paid on call, paid on premise. And then from there, they obviously have a little bit more inside information as far as how the department runs. And we have an idea of what their work ethic is like. So yeah. it's important for us to get people in on the ground floor, try to get them educated as best we can so that they too can compete at, the, at a similar level as our paid on premise uh, firefighters. I think that's great. I thank you very much. Okay. I have one question. Rosa? Yeah, just for clarification, I thought maybe last time I heard you say that there was an issue with the, the intern that's um, already trained and has certification or partially trained, that, he, that we could lose him if we didn't start the process now? Was there, did I misunderstand that? So all I was saying there is we know of a person who has interest in the program and knowing that we have limited um, members or limited uh, qualified candidates that will fill uh, this role at the level that we need it filled. Uh, we wanted to make sure that we were addressing all available candidates and trying to get out there before they accepted roles with other departments. It's not just one person. We're looking to try to establish a connection with multiple uh, we do know of one or two that uh, that may be interested, but I'm, I'm, I, I sort of take a couple of steps back because the last thing that I want to give is the impression that we're selecting before we've run the process, because we haven't. Uh, we need to make sure that we run any of our candidates through the, the interview, the ride-alongs, and the chief's interview in order to ultimately establish um, a recommendation to the Police and Fire Commission. Yeah. Okay. I, any other questions uh, on the timeline? Is there um, a motion to authorize the, the um, begin the second year intern recruitment? Okay. I move that we accept the um, recommendation of the fire chief to start the second year fire intern recruitment process. Okay. Any uh, second? I'll second. Jeff seconds. Uh, any discussion? Uh, the only uh, the discussion I'd have is I appreciate you're saying that you want to make sure you, that you've taken some steps back and that this will be a, uh, basically a, a application process to get the best candidate, whoever he or she might be. 
Any, any other discussion? All those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Okay. Unanimous. Um, we're up for adjournment. I move so. Okay. okay. Moved. Second. Okay, second. All those in favor of adjourning signify by saying aye. 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 Okay, thank you everyone, and thank you for uh, uh, Chief for getting this getting this in. So.